Yo, what's going on guys, your boy Chusvo here. I'm going to give you guys a little two-year review on my 2015 370Z. It is an auto, I know. I'm going to go for a little drive real quick. Now, a lot of people might think 370Zs are slow or hit this and that, but they're actually not that bad. They beat pretty much most, if not all, the base like sport cars that you can get nowadays. But I beat in a C43 AMG. I beat in WRXs from 2023 and the older generation as well. I've also beaten um, some Tune and Boltons WRXs as well. As well as a bunch of uh, Camaro RSs the older uh, Camaro SS as well, and EcoBoost. Even though this thing is a V6, it does keep up with some V8s as well. So I've raced a scat pack off a of dig. I beat it from like the zero to like 70 to 80 mile per hour mark, and then they started to catch up as well. I also raced a 5.0 Mustang from a dig. I beat it all the way to 80 miles per hour until he started to pull on me. Now to get into some things I don't like about the car. So, first thing I don't like about the car is there is a rev limiter. Now I know most cars already have that, but in this car, this car doesn't sound the best. If I'm being honest, like it's not like the fucking best car to like get an exhaust for. But the rev limiter doesn't uh, allow it to rev up that high, so it doesn't look like a vacuum cleaner. C8 thing right there. But the third thing I don't like about this car is the visibility is kind of ass. That's why I have to have these little mirror things on both sides. But other than that, it solves the problem already. A fourth thing that I don't like about this car is that the road noise on this thing is a little loud. As you can already hear right now, I'm on a little bit of a bumpy road and I can literally hear every single bump on the road lastly the thing i hate about this car is that the cup holder is so small like if i put a large like starbucks ring in that shit it will not fit another thing that i don't like about this car is that the interior looks very outdated for the year it's in it is a 2015 but i have a 2015 civic as well and that shit already has like digital touchscreen and digital uh and a digital dash as well. Could be pumping this thing. Let's see how much this is for a half tank. Well, half tank, thirty-three bucks. Not bad. That's that California gas for you. I've also raced uh, a three thirty-five I stock that was absolutely gapped on. Uh, Kia Stinger GT, I think that's what's called. That's also I walked that one. I didn't gap it. Can't lie. Those are decent. Those are decent cars, but at the end of the day, it is a Kia. I just 
about it. Fuck your wife in the back of the king of diamonds. Turn me on, you kept on the diamonds. Got back from the little cruise. There it is. This is the outside of it. Got the boring motos. There's my front bumper. Got the sticky Michelin Pilot Sport 4S's and the Super Sports in the back. Little carbon fiber thing as well. This thing is tinted out in case it's shit. Got a little duck bill here. And then we got the exhaust, of course. Make sure you guys the this shit is pretty sick, I can't lie. But yeah, this thing is pretty fucking fun for what it is. Really. Not too fast, but fast enough. And if you haven't already, comp yourself a little radar. This will save you thousands of dollars in pounds, as well as a bunch of other inconveniences when you're driving your car and shit. But this is the interior. I know it's a little old. There's no touchscreen and shit, but it is what it is. I'm honestly, I like this car because it's more driver focused. If I'm being honest, like everything is directed towards the driver, and you're just, you're just focus on strictly driving the car. I'm gonna give you guys a few revs real quick. Little trumpet thing, little trumpet thing. There aren't that many issues with these cars if you find them pretty well maintained, but the only problem is that it gets hot really fast. So currently right now it's around like 75-ish, which is not that hot, but the oil temp is very, very high after like a few pulls. It reaches up to, let me see. It reaches up to 220 pretty fast. As you can see, it's actually already at 220 at the moment after that little drive. But with the upgraded oil cooler, you can minimize the oil temp getting too hot. Other than that, this car is pretty great and amazing for what it is. A little rear end shot for you guys real quick. The previous owner um, put some like random hand cooked tires that were literally the worst tires to put on these cars. Cause every single time you just tap the gas, you just hear tires screeching the whole time. But we got some super sports, 275, 40, 18 on the rears, pilot super sports from Michelin. These, after I got these, this is what allowed me to hook and literally gap all these fucking sports cars and shit. As I said before, this is my first car as well as my first sports car. And I couldn't ask for anything else because this thing literally has the handling. It has the power and it has the sound if you have the right exhaust for it. As well as, as it does turn some heads. There are some people out there who just, you know, either wave at you or tell you to race or whatever, which is pretty cool. Possibilities that mod this car are literally endless, but I decided to not mod too much of my own car because I do not intend to keep it for that long. There isn't that much space in this car, but you do have a pretty large uh, trunk in the back. But me personally, I like smaller cars because you can just throw around like a go-kart. It's that small and it's, the handling is insane in this car, especially if you have good tires on, you'd be having the absolute most amount of fun in the canyons. Sadly though, all things do have to come to an end. So I will be selling this car, probably gonna get either an RS3 or a C63S 2020. I'm not too sure. I'm kind of in between in both. I want to test drive an RS3. So if you have one, let me know. I want to test drive real quick. But yeah, it's either that. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see me drive a C63S or an RS3 as my next car. I had to close the garage because the gardeners were a little loud. I forgot to mention, the 370Z community is hella strong. Whenever I see a 370Z out in the open as well, we just say what's up and we somehow connect. I've met countless people through this car who also drive Z's and other cars as well. Turn me on, you Stuck in traffic. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I will be trying to push out content pretty much either two times a week or one times a week. Depending on what I'm doing on that week, obviously. I don't want to throw some boring shit. But, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, comment down below. Do all that good stuff. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I know I'm arrogant, but don't be trifling. 
I iced out your once and you got iced again. These guitars sound 